O Southern Cross, great collection of stars who will never grace either of these arms, my current or any of my future cars, my bodies or my wife's bikinis or bras. What is it about you that causes fist fights at bars and makes people think that Australians are defined and divided in the name of some stars? Man, why couldn't you be more like the saucepan? He's peaceful but awesome. Never drawn on the walls where I sit on the porcelain. He's chilled, no one talks to him or forces him to consort with them. Not to mention, he's a saucepan. If I was to get a tattoo of a constellation to represent me and my thoughts on this nation, I'd rather something that took some more imagination. Not a perfect imitation, just a scattering of the heavens shining down on the planet and wondering how we could take their majesty for granted. Now look, this is not to attack you if you have a Southern Cross tattoo. I know that's taboo and it's mixing up the facts too. And if I'm speaking this poem in the country I inhabit, there's a good chance someone watching actually has it. And trust me, I'm familiar with symbols that seem dusty. Following the man on the cross, I get some looks. I won't deny it, but I hope that my life helps to redefine it. So let's take a moment and question a symbol without making things too simple or talking about single individuals. I just feel like I'd have more respect for my culture if we stood for things that brought us all closer. Maybe we could learn to view a collection of stars as a reason for self-inspection, a chance to ask who we are. See, we may be built on a history of violence and misery. It's not because we're Australian. It seems more human instinctually. But who we are yet to be, that's not yet decided. So instead of divided riots, let's open our eyelids and be known for something other than alcohol and violence. I wrote this poem a couple years ago, the day before Australia Day, without even thinking. And I'm not against beaches, barbecues, pavlovas or drinking. I'm stoked to have been grown in a beautiful home, in a place where hunger is something I've never known. Where our worst governments still give us freedom to speak, schools to attend and support for the weak. And yet the place where I live is a part of the globe. This is a chunk of land that none of us owns. It was a place that was here before any of our roads. So let's lose this sense of entitlement, regain some respect for environment, and to be Australian. Let the only requirement be that you found yourself here beneath some stars, which should remind us how small and fragile we are.